So, in keeping with my series of uh, other non-wood uses for a wood chisel, I haven't practiced this, so don't try this at home. There you go, Matt. All right. So, here is the rocker arm cover. Already... Uh, all set to go. Paint should be cured. It's been 24 hours and very warm. So using the uh, flat aluminum, it's too bright for the camera I guess to, it says flat aluminum. So uh, let's see how this turns out. Very foggy stuff. Not trying to put it on too thick. Really just the dusting is what I'm going for here. I can always put more on later. Ice cream trucks coming through for anybody that wants ice cream. You'll have to get it yourself, I'm not buying. All right. So let's give this a look here. Pop you out of the uh, ribbon camera stand. All right, I'm going to turn the camera around so I can see. All right, so I could use some more coverage here. Um, I noticed that the uh, particles fell heavier on this part, like the textured paint fell heavier here than they did right on the edge. Not surprising since I was so far away. Um, let's see. It's not really coming out. It's hard to see. Let me see if I can move you over to sunlight. Uh, wow, looks much better in the sunlight. Yeah, that's looking more like cast aluminum. Not as shiny, so I could probably stand to put quite a bit more on top. It's hard for me to tell how it's coming out on the viewfinder. But in person, I'm liking that. I could stand to put much more color on because I've got a lot of texture. I don't know if the camera's going to do that. So, yeah, I'll let this flash off for a bit and do some more. Cool. Well, let's see if we can get a good look, good focus on that. No, not really. But, look at that. <laughs> I really like that. Anthony, it's a home run. Look at that. It looks just like sand cast aluminum. Not bad. That is nice. So, anybody that wants the sand cast aluminum, look. Kevin, K.E. Robinson II. You were looking at uh, doing this for that bracket? Oh yeah. I mean, it looks like cast aluminum. If I were telling you that this was just cast aluminum and I had all zoomed in like that, you'd be like, well yeah, sure, that's cast aluminum. Nice. Nice. One thing I will say with this technique Anthony did say, don't put the paint on too thickly or you'll lose the texture. The other thing you have to look out for, yeah, it's coming out really strong on the viewfinder, 
I've got it just a teeny tiny bit thicker there and can't really see it from here I guess but what that's from I was spraying glunk and just hit my hand there for a second and it gave just a oh I don't know not even a third of a second more spray but my hand stopped there as I you know bonk oops and that's what happened so be careful of that and just any inconsistent whoop any inconsistencies in your application um, will cause changes in the overall appearance. So that, you know, I'm okay. You know, once this flashes off and stuff, it may or may not be apparent, but it's not really fixable. Because I know even if I took all this off and went back with the textured paint and stuff, I wouldn't be able to blend the texture in and uh, you know so any failures you have unless you're gonna do the whole thing all over again you're pretty much stuck with them that's a minor one I mean it's hardly visible so I'm not gonna worry about it just a cautionary note you don't have to be perfect just be consistent as long as you're consistent whatever errors you're making will be over the whole damn thing Duh. But again, I am just pleased. I went back and did another filler coat. That's where that uh, little error came in. You know, I should quit while I'm ahead, right? But uh, still, overall, yeah, excellent, excellent look. Uh, now that I see it in person, instead of on somebody's video, that's, that's just brilliant. That is awesome very pleased so thank you again Anthony HO Motorsports <laughs> yeah yeah yep yep